Hi, I'm Agent Taylor, and today I'll show you how to set up a wireless printer. Here's what you'll need. A wireless printer and the included accessories, printer paper, your wireless network login info, a computer or smart device like a phone or tablet, and the printer app already installed and ready to go. I'll be using an HP Envy Pro 6455 and a Samsung Galaxy S20 5G smartphone. The steps could be a little bit different depending on your devices. All right, let's get started. First, if this is a new printer, like mine, make sure all of the packing material and tape have been removed from the printer. Lift all the components to make sure. They usually tape down all of the moving parts before shipping, so make sure you get all of them, especially the one holding the head in place. Then, connect any accessories and feed trays. Plug the power cord into the printer and plug the other end into a power outlet. Wait for your printer to power on and boot up. On mine, the light on the front will turn purple when it's ready. Take a second and make sure your smart device has Bluetooth enabled and is on the same wireless network that your printer will be using. Now, open the printer's app and follow the on-screen instructions to start the setup process. Here's how I do that. Tap Accept All to agree to Terms of Service. Tap Set Up a New Printer, and then Add Printer at the bottom. Give the app permission to locate the new printer and tap Continue. Select your preferences for how your app will run. I don't need to run it all the time, so I'll tap While Using the App. Now I'll choose the printer, and then enter the Wi-Fi password. When you're ready, tap Continue. Press the flashing button on the printer and then hit Continue in the app. Once the printer is on your wireless network and paired with your app, you'll see some information on connected printing services. Read through it and when you're ready, tap Accept All. Next, you can choose to create an account, sign in, or skip to register your printer. I'll choose Skip for now. Load the paper into the tray. For your first print job, it's best to use plain white letter-sized paper. Adjust the guides to the size of your paper, like this. Once the app sees that there's paper in the printer, tap Continue. Now it's time to add ink. Open the door to the printer to see where the ink needs to go. You can also see some information about installing ink right there in the app. Remove any protective film on the ink cartridges, being careful not to touch the bottom of the ink. Now, lift the cartridge holder lids and place each ink cartridge into the appropriate spot. On mine, the black cartridge has a black top and goes in the spot with the black lid. The color cartridge has a pink top and goes in the spot with the pink lid. Gently close the cartridge holder lids and close the door to the printer. When the app sees that the ink is installed, you can tap Continue. Anytime you install new cartridges, they need to be aligned to keep your printing quality high. Tap Continue to start the process. Your printer will print an alignment page that will have some lines and patterns on it. Once that's done printing, lift the scan lid and put the alignment page face down on the glass. Your printer will have an icon on it showing you how to align the paper. Now close the lid and press the blinking copy button. The printer will now scan the alignment page and make adjustments if needed. Once the scan is finished, lift the lid, remove the paper, and tap Continue. And just like that, the printer is all set up. It's time to print a real document and get to know your new printer. Tap Print a Document on your smart device. For this to work, you may need to install a plugin. If you need to install it, tap Continue to open the Google Play Store and then tap Install. Once the new plugin is installed, tap the back arrow to return to the HP Smart app. Now tap Print a Document, check out the service agreement, and if you agree, tap Start. Now you'll see a demo page. Tap the icon of the printer and your printer will print the document. If you'd like to print documents from other devices, you don't have to do this entire process every time. Just send a link to download the HP software onto your other devices by tapping Send Link. For this demo, I'll tap Not Right Now. 
Now you'll be taken to the app's main page. From here, you can see your printer on top and a graphic showing you how much ink is left and a few other options. Under printables, you can find things like calendars, signs, and much more. While you're in here printing, you'll see a variety of options. Copies will allow you to choose how many copies to print. You can do double-sided printing if you select two-sided. It's a great way to save on paper if your document has more than one page. Color mode allows you to print in color or black and white. Paper size is where you can choose other paper options besides the standard 8.5 by 11 inches. Under orientation, you can see options for which way your document will print on the paper. Automatic will keep it the way the document was formatted, or you can choose portrait or landscape to change it. More options include some settings for photos or other kinds of documents. Print documents and print photos will allow you to print directly from your smart devices and from other apps like Dropbox or Google Drive. You can also print directly from an app like Google Chrome. Just open the app and tap on the menu and share. Tap Print and then choose your printer from the drop-down menu. If needed, you can adjust your printing options and then tap the printer icon to start printing. It's just that easy. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.